Welcome to the B96 studio, powered by ComEd, and we are hanging out with Shia LaBeouf. Oh! Hey. What up, what up? Wow. Hey, thank you. I'm, I'm clapping. I mean, hey. no, yeah, no, I'm clapping. Yeah, no, 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 I've been okay. clapping in my head thank for like a week yes. since we found out that you were coming to Chicago. Yes, no, yes, number yes. one, welcome to the city. Hey, thank you for having me. I know me. I, I don't need to welcome you here because a, a little birdie tells me that you might have residence here in Chicago? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know. Nah. Residence, like I have a house here? No way. No, dude. not at all. No, no. that's baller stuff. I don't do that. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> no? not here. I'm not here often enough. Yeah. You're not here? Okay, that's cool. No. That's cool. But you have been here often enough for Shoba Shelly to run into you. I don't You got You got to hear about this. So, do I show him the picture? I don't want to be right show. Are you dead right here? Oh, now I feel like a lame because I should have I should have been like, hey, good to see you. No, 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 here. Oh, what? Do you remember this? It was just you and me in the wow. GNC, wow. and you were getting muscle milk. I Oh man! <laughs> and, and because and because Shia's cool, it's like I, I, I know. No, I feel <laughs> comfortable enough to ask you this question. When you see these random pictures of yourself, do you yeah. remember this or no? I'm trying to think back. Yeah, like man, this is a, this is a, this is eagle eye wow. Like yeah, I, yeah. I'm try, I, I, I now I'm trying to. I don't remember this interaction per se. You really shocked when I walked in, so I thought maybe it stuck with you a little bit. But if not, it's I'm, I'm not offended. <laughs> maybe there's some fragments there, and I'm trying okay. to search. You know what I mean? It's early yeah. in the morning, but right, right, right. Um, yeah, I, okay. I think I remember. No, I don't, don't remember do it. Don't give her the Hollywood. I remember. Uh, it. Just keep it real. Well, I like, think no, we were trying no, to no, say. No, no. If it's weird, if it's creepy, let her know. <laughs> we go way back. I think is what we're trying to okay, say. Okay, yeah, so no, I get it. I'm on that. Okay, I'll ride back. There we go. It's good, man. Shy is here. He's a friend of the show, even though he doesn't even realize it. We love this guy. It's amazing, man. He's been doing. And right now he's here to talk about um, Man Down. That's, Man. The, that's the new movie that Ooh. comes out. What's the date, Shelley? December please? 2nd. December 2nd, yes. Man Down. We watched the screener last night. Okay. Okay, thanks to you, my, my pillow is soaked in snot and tears. Ooh, and this okay. man doesn't cry. I don't okay. cry for so anything. It's impressive. And right. I, I, I lost my crap last night. I was like, why did that happen? And it's like, I will say this movie is like, the sixth sense of war films. Mm -hmm. Like, we're, I mean, not to, to I give know what a, you mean, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, no yeah. spoiler, but like, by the end of the movie, you realize that you weren't even watching what you thought you were watching. Yeah, yeah, it's tricky and, that way. And that was a really cool take on what it, you know, what it's like to be a Marine vet or yeah. to be a veteran in general. Yeah. So, yeah. and it's very timely, too. You know, Veterans Day just passed. Yes. And of course, uh, that's been a big topping in our, in our political discourse in the country. Mm -hmm. um, but I like what you did on the film, man. And Thank you, Ron. A lot of people don't know, Shia's folks were very adamant about people watching the movie before yeah. we did the interview. Yeah. And I'm glad you did that. Yeah, yeah. Because honestly, yeah. we might not have watched it. Yeah. No, <laughs> I hear you. Real, no, I hear you. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, <laughs> man. You know, I but, get it. I mean, I'm so, I feel like. And I'm, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's super heavy. heavy. Yeah, yeah. So it's hard to find like that moment when you're like, you know what I need right now. Yeah. And, and we just went through heavy like two, three days ago. So people are trying to escape. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. a tough thing to ask somebody to jump through, but. Yeah, I'm happy you sat through it, man. Well, well I, I feel like I'm a better person because I watched that movie, honestly. Okay, I cool. Really do. And I, I was wondering watching the whole thing, how do you get into that space? Because it's a dark, a lot of it's really dark. I mean, yeah. how do you get there? Do you have to prepare every day? Or are you just kind of in it for the whole movie, the whole role of it? Well, you you first, oh, well, man, I mean, it depends on the day, but yeah. you commit to something and then, you know, like, uh, for me, uh, this is a big chunk of my life, how I like identify with the world and everything. You know, I define myself based on what I do. Most people do. You are mm -hmm. what you do, you know, yeah. what you create. So like my pride is on the line. Yeah. So once I say yes, you know, everything's riding on the day. It feels like life and death. So you had to literally go through like Marine, um, go through the uh, oh, basic no, training no, no and all way, that stuff? Oh, no, 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 not literal. No, okay. Marines are Marines, man. You can't, there's no way even if you have a year to act it, mm -hmm. you're not a Marine. No way. Wow. But you get as close as you can, and you and you hang out with a bunch of Marines, and you try to like empathize as much as you can. Yeah. Try to work real hard. It's physical, but nothing like you know being a Marine. I mean, I, I would do PT tests, and and we did like a little uh, Hollywood boot camp, you yeah. know, which was cute. <laughs> yes. What's a yeah, Hollywood cute. boot camp? Hollywood what is that? Well, you know, a couple <laughs> jumping jacks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right, just like that. Okay. Yeah, you you didn't get the pepper spray. I know that. <laughs> yeah, no, we, no, we did do that. You did real. the pepper spray. Yeah, that's real. Actually, the guy who sprayed me in the movie, this guy named Nick Jones Jr. Nick yeah. Jones Jr. is like my brother. He's the guy who I live with him basically the whole movie. Oh wow! That big dude, right? Nick, yeah, Nick was like my heart. So we, so I met this dude uh, early in the movie. Read the script. Ditto had met him, knew him. He was uh, met Ditto on the GI Bill, right? He had done like film school. He was there on the GI Bill. He was a Marine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done three tours. Came back hard body, like okay. like meat eater, crazy dude. Wow. But also a sweetheart, and was interested in storytelling. So and and if if I'm going too long, tell me to no, shut you're up. Not, no, 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 right. I'm checking your, my, uh, your volume. Don't okay, worry. okay. So so um, I met this dude. Me and Jai were like looking for a guy to like connect with, mm -hmm. and met this guy. And this is his story, basically. When we filmed, it's it's Nick's uh, story, basically. 
uh, unbeknownst to Nick, which is even crazier. But uh, uh, yeah, he he's um, he's a real deal Marine, and, and I would just be around him all the time and like soak him up and listen to music and like freestyle with him and uh, just a sweet guy, you know. And and he's really my Marine. That's he's, dope. He, that's, that's dope. Yeah. You brought up the word freestyle, you know. Yeah. Right now you're viral. Oh, yeah. Super viral. <laughs> oh, the sway yeah. free. Don't, yeah. don't wipe your face. Yo, dog, the sway freestyle. Another time Shia made me jump out of my bed. They this were time. freaking out of Shia's this. has been in my bed a lot this yeah. weekend. Yeah. Um, so we, we watch a lot of freestyles from Sway, right? So we see everybody come through. Yeah, you know, sure. that's something that we like to watch often. Sure, sure. So then when you're on there yeah. and you're like, there, the, what's Shelly? Shelly will say the word that I said after it. What was it? Bars. 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 Shia's got bars. bars. That's a big show for the culture, man. Bro. You know, that's a big show. Yeah. So, yo, Sunday, I'm in my bed and I, you know, I, the, the video pops up on my feed and I click and I'm like, yeah, let's see what Shia LaBeouf is working with. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And then he just starts spitting on like a Pac, a Missy, and like I think a couple of, uh, it was like, a couple of Drake. Yeah. And I was like, what is happening right now? Yeah. And it was clearly not written. It was off the dome and it was fantastic. When did you start rapping? Oh, man, I've been rapping forever. Like, all my friends were rap. All my friend friends are yeah. rappers, pretty much. Rappers, okay. musicians. The school I went to, like, you know, Thundercat and me went to school together. Oh, wow, okay. The only other actor dude I knew was, like, Emil Hirsch, but everybody else was musicians in my neighborhood. Okay. And and, and so, I, that's... Well, I thought what we could do, I used to take opera. Um, oh, if you want to yeah. do, like, an opera uh, uh, off? Oh, oh like, go ahead. Oh, boy. Oh. I, wait a second. This went left. <laughs> hey, 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 that's strong, though. That's strong. <laughs> that right? Wow. You made fun of me. Yeah, wow. Your turn. Yeah. If you want to go. <laughs> no, I can't get it like that. That's you heavy, told man. it not to do that, but I guess you <laughs> called it audible. <laughs> you got it. Great, that's man. What's up, man? But, uh, yo, we definitely want to keep it on um, uh, Man Down. Great movie about veterans and PTSD. Did you go through any kind of, like, I mean, the, the scenes were very uh, vivid. You know, the yeah. killing and the, the actual Marine kind of imagery did you have any stress or bad dreams doing this movie uh oh yeah man yeah did it get personal for you (laughs) uh yeah yeah for sure yeah Yeah. it's tough right i know that's hard (laughs) to answer but i mean i i I was thinking i was feeling it for you the whole time watching that movie i was like how do you do a movie like this yeah yeah i mean uh you you know out of respect for the people who actually been through it my you know i I come from a family of war fighters i didn't go myself you know my dad wouldn't was not into that at all i think a lot of guys came back from vietnam uh, we're dealing with stuff that the guys who went to World War II, you know, didn't really deal with. Wars that came before that had a different moral code. It was, sure. it was a very different war. And when my dad came back, he was very against the war. Okay. So my household was very anti-war uh, fighting. But but I come from a family of a whole lineage of it. Every man on my dad's side. So uh, out of respect to them, you show up with that kind of that on your shoulders when sure. you come to, to set. You know, not just personally for my family, but. We've also been going through some heavy stuff since, you know, I've been uh, an adult. Yeah. Really, like, my whole life we've been at war. It's been crazy. It's crazy. Mm. And, and I'm, I'm in Los Angeles, so you got a huge population of homeless people. We have the biggest population of homeless vets in, in the world. Okay. Wow. Didn't in the whole that. world Didn't in Los Angeles. That. Okay. Yeah, and, and uh, Skid Row is, is 60% veterans. It's a crazy stat. That's a fact, though, and it's nuts. That's a so. lot of freaking homeless. Sixty yeah. percent. That's unacceptable for American yeah. standards. Yeah. Honestly, I really do think so. Um, but you know, once again, for a person like me, I, I come from an immigrant family. None of my my family went to war yep. ever, so I yep. don't I don't really have a a, a necessary sp- a soft spot for that because I just don't know it. Sure, but sure. this is like real. It was good for a lot of people to see. I think it was awesome that you guys did this. I want to talk to you about some things you said. Also, you are what you do. That's a quote you said earlier. Yeah. Um, we watched you in the movie theater. Remember the the movie theater bit when Shia was streaming? <laughs> yes. Shia watching Shia's You're movies. Like, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So what was that? Like, what was really that about? Like, yeah, was I it mean, something we missed or? No, I mean, if you saw it, you didn't miss it, you know? I mean, <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 We were in here dissecting it like, oh, Shia you know, gets up, we're like, wait, 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 he went to the bathroom. Yeah, I yeah, know, yeah. yeah. We were like trying real. to find like the hidden meaning, but it was cool, man, because everyone was no hidden in. meaning. I don't play that game. I'm not trying to be tricky, bro. Right. I okay. love that. Okay, like, like, uh, like, uh, I'm trying to be very transparent with my stuff, you know. So basically, what you got there is you got a dude looking at a yearbook of his life mm. with the with the village, you know, and with the with the with the community. True. Our stuff comes down to like, how do we use this internet thing for real community? Wow. Not, not the not the um the little uh you know, vacuums of space that we're going through now where, you you, you know, people aren't really connecting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My stuff's about connection. Mm-hmm. So, like, this is just another way f- for me to connect. With- Yo, the connection you made when you did the uh, the U.S. travel. The hitchhiking. The hitchhiking? Yeah, yeah, yeah so that's another one. That was a serious connection, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but but the movie theater was a serious connection, too, in a different way. You know, like, uh, 
it's a different kind of intimacy in a theater with a group of 60. Because they're vibing with you. Vibing you're with in, you. You're in that room, they're vibing with you, and yeah. they're not really like on you, but they're like, damn, we're doing nah. this together. We're yeah. kind of watching And you got to understand, like, what you saw on the internet, you know, that's a different kind of community. There was also a buzz that was going on, and people were, I mean, people were partying for three days straight in that oh, theater, right. bro. It was, <laughs> for real? Yeah, man, in line down the street, it was like, a, it was wild, that's man. What's up. And so when you, it's like being at a festival, you know, a music festival. Your, your band that you came to see may not be on. But and that don't really matter because you're just you're over here and you're over here and yeah. you're with them and you're into this and I don't know man we we create little communities when we do our stuff and we're not trying to be tricky arty none of that stuff is I'm not about that. But take I, me to, take me to that beginning place though, right? Because we always say it's not about what you say, it's about what you're thinking about before you say it, right? Yeah. So with with those particular projects, right? I mean, so it's not for me. It's like it's not about that project. It's about no. What were you guys at in that space thinking about? How, like, how are you guys coming up with that? Is it just yeah. in a room? Well, we we'll talk. No, it's the three of us. I mean, we 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 uh, you know we Skype every day. These are my two best friends. Yeah. Uh, um, and we Skype every day, and, and we talk about you know uh, exploration, bro. We just explore, like uh, how how do we get here? What does this feel like? Mm, what's what's the what's that temperature right here? What ooh, what's it like to go walk through Harlem right now, day after the election? Mm, what did that feel like? How do we answer for that? How can we how can we connect with the culture and push culture and shape stuff and be a part of that? You know, how do you speak to your times? So uh, I, I'm a I'm and as a as a person who's in pop culture. Yeah. I'm trying to use that material mm. for something that's a little bit more than like, yo, this is Nautica, bro. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, Gosh. you know, you know, and, Lord and, and, knows I had a couple of Nautica jackets. I fell into that. It, it, it also, it, I think it also informs like my my actor thing. You sure. know, I, th I think it's the whole thing is just sort of working right now. And and you know, I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'm not stepping on nobody's toes. I'm I'm just trying to be nice to people. You know. Well, and what do you make of the whole Hollywood thing? Because I feel like you're not the typical Hollywood kind of mm. actor who's very into sure. perception and what people think of him. I mean, mm. do you enjoy? That's totally wrong. You don't think so? No, I'm. I'm so about the. I'm. I'm the opposite of what you just said. Really? Oh yeah, I think we all are. We all cultivate our Twitter personas now. It's yeah. not just celebrities. Yeah. People, you, me, everybody. We're all, like, this is all part of a personal cult of. You know, we. We curate ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Pictures I looked at you, you know, we I, we all looked each other up last night, getting ready for, you know, <laughs> right. everybody yeah. did, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and exactly. Like, and so that's part of this this new thing that's happening. And I think people are hyper aware. That thing you were talking about, give no Fs, I yeah. think it's actually the complete opposite. We give so many that's Fs a, now, wow. man. That's you know, even the pictures that look like we don't give Fs. But when you got like a look, black bro, China you see, you see, and like people look at us, I feel like they don't give a they F. They go, yo, he looks like like he's a homeless person. Like he didn't care. This took a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> For real, really? really? This took a lot of time. We take us through so you're it. Going so for a specific look. Like, like, you know, okay. this is, everybody's got a uniform, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. even though it looks haphazard, it's actually very thought through. Calculated. You know I mean? Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm, like I'm trying to be aware of my Whitman and like my my blue collar. True. And I'm still trying to, but I'm also trying to be, um, look. God lot knows you wake up in the morning, you go, maybe I should shave, but then you go, nah, I'm not going to shave. And, well, and it's a daily battle probably, like I'm not shaving today. I'm, I'm also shaving. talking to veterans, you know, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm, I wake up, I see you guys, but I'm also, you know, over with the USO, dealing with dudes who just been through stress who don't really want to see clean cut Charlie, you know what I mean? Right, 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 you know, they, right. They want to talk to a dude who they feel like they can touch, who they feel like understands them, who's gone through things. So you, you, we're always performing, and we're thinking about who we're going to go perform for. So I look at a schedule, I see you on the schedule. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see a lot of other things on the schedule. And then you sort of look in the mirror and you go, okay. who do I want to show up with? Right. Yeah. I, it's not just the actors that do that. We all do it. It's Movember, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's yes, yes. created a certain kind of character they're going to run with for Movember. Yeah. But it's... Mm -hmm. it's you know, I think we're actors, performers, people in general, hosts, everyone. We're yeah. all very, very much. We, we're much more connected than we are apart. Mm -hmm. sure. It's a lot. It, it's not. It's not as as um, the actor thing is not as. Uh, no, because we all have our cameras now. Right. Now we all have our own camera and our own screen. Yeah. So we're all putting so, on our own show. This really yeah. Well, and I mean, you know, case. you're sometimes in the tabloids and whatnot. Yeah. So does that make you? Feel insecure, or are you just kind of like eh? used to? Yeah, no, but to? yeah, but then, but then, this is why you know, I'm sort of taking control of it now. I've uh -huh. taken back the control of the narrative. Yeah. So I'm not waiting on them to report on me. They're waiting on me to move so they yeah. can report on my move. It's that, different. Yeah. Exactly. That's what's yeah. up. That's what's up. Yeah. So were you tired of the Transformers? Like I'm not with Wiki. Like I, I want to be someone else. Did it ever get tired to you? Or well, like the first one was brilliant, bro. We had a lot of fun. There was a lot of love involved. It was a. It was just like we we really that was special. Yeah. That first one. Then you get into a situation where you got a lot of cooks in the kitchen, a lot of people are paying rent for it's, it becomes a business. Yeah. 
and then you become a cog in the wheel and and you you know some people are really good at accepting that and moving forward and then some people who feel like they haven't proven anything are stuck there prematurely and then they feel like whoa man I it's like you just feel yeah. you just feel stuck and yeah. that's not that's that's I'm, and, and I got to get better at like acknowledging the good part of that whole thing for my life because it was huge for my life well, was, man. i mean for me like an 80s kid that was like a cultural like huge. i finally made it to the point where i could see a live action transformers film so you know yeah. if that means anything to you, it's you know, it, it, man, of course bro that's like, why i showed up bro. i didn't think i'd ever see that <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm me, I, I, I showed up a fan man yeah, that's, that's why when i saw the first one i was like whoa this is like we right. this, yeah yeah and bro, you guys did it right too the I, first absolutely. one but then it became you know and we were rushed and Mike Bay had the pressure of Paramount's future on his back. Yeah. It wasn't like he was just making a movie. He had dudes in his ear that were like, it wasn't like he was in a regular director spot. He right. was like, bro, yeah, exactly. So you got Brad Gray in your ear like, uh, it's just a lot of pressure, <laughs> man. Uh, yeah. Well, luckily we do radio. We're not good with all that yeah, pressure. Right. Uh, yeah, we're but not But listen, good with that. back to the movies. Um, Man Down, Shia LaBeouf is here. We've talked about it a lot today. This is clearly one of the good ones in the group of Hollywood. Let me guess... Everyone's good on their own level, but I like this man a whole lot. Thanks, man. And, and, we, and we like the, the message in this movie. Even if you can't really relate to the veteran struggle, this is something you need to know and not something you need to see because these men die and, and go through stress and, and traumatic situations for I think, us. I think it's not even like he, the, the, the guy I'm playing isn't like rah rah soldier. He's not Captain America. He's a dude. See, it, this movie is a, is a small movie disguised as like some big actioneer war PTSD thing. It's really about how your job affects you. Mm. Everybody's got a job, and everybody, as of late, is hustling really hard, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, harder than people did in the '90s, actually, which is crazy. Yeah, we're in a different temperature now, mm -hmm. and so uh, you look back at like a uh, how jobs affected people then versus how jobs are affecting people now. You know, they're watering words down. PTSD used to be, you know, a different word. They used to call it shell shock, shell you know? shock right. and and these words are crazy. I mean, there's a lot of words in the English language that are getting watered down so people can still still sustain and 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 keep level. Mm -hmm. But the the pressure on everyone in in the workforce is heavy, and so really the movie, when you boil it down, is about how you sustain a family while your work is beating you over the head for your whole life, and how that feels, mm -hmm. and how how you deal with that. And then how that looks through your eyes, too. That, that's really what I got from the movie. Like, how, mm. what it actually looks like to go through that. You hear the term PTSD all the yeah. time, but what is that? What is that? Yeah. And that's what this movie um, showed me. Uh, Shia, can you uh, comment on election night, re uh, results are, are revealed. How did you feel the next morning after the election? Oh, uh, way confused. Yeah. Shook up, like, whoa, like, uh, just like frozen man yeah. frozen yeah. like getting robbed okay like yeah. you, when you get robbed you just yeah just like a mannequin challenge <laughs> it's like a mannequin challenge yeah. <laughs> for a while for a while and then and then you and then then you got options right so then the option is you know i i just think i think we just got to create more we got to we got to stay hopeful we got to keep hope alive we, you know that's a big part of the reason i want to do the freestyle i i just think we need to start like we need more of this man it's really easy to just be like yo them yeah really easy and yeah, so we can't do that, you know? Because us, us, us we're living in echo chambers, yeah. right? So, like, we all listen to Sway. We all listen to the same news. We all read the same news. But the people on the other side ain't reading the same news. Breitbart? Mm -hmm. I never heard of Breitbart. Now he's running stuff. Yeah. You know, now he's literally, he, he's like chief of staff, my guy. Yeah. And, he, and Bre Breitbart, I never heard of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, I'm me and I'm about media. Right. Yeah. And I know now Breitbart is that alt-right yeah. that I hadn't been reading about. And so the only way I can get okay with them is I got to understand them. I got to empathize with them. So I got to start reading it. Mm -hmm. And and once I'm informed and I and I know w w what's fueling that anger, then we can talk. I just wish there was more consensus. You know, that's like, what I mean. They're, they're, yeah, then I think that's what he's talking to. It's like there's too much. Like I'm right, you're right. Yeah. my party's right. I'm not, I mean, we'll never come to a conclusion if that's always the the narrative. But right. like we're the we're the consensus is in, in different thought. You yeah. Because after yep. the election, I mean, that was the first thing we did. We opened up. It was funny because we were like, we saw what Trump wants to do in his first 100 days in office. Yep. Yeah. And Jay and I were saying, like, why didn't everyone have this two weeks ago you know, <laughs> yeah. before the election? Yeah. Why is this blowing up on my timeline now? Like, yeah. And it was interesting. I mean, there were things, I mean, sure, you know, people have their certain feelings towards him or towards the whole election, but I mean, you still want to see what the man's going to do. Like you said, you want to yep. be informed. But that's yep. not so what that it was that about. Can, but no. that's not what yeah. it was about. I also yeah. think our side was really like laxed. We were just comfortable with the mm. fact that Hillary was going to walk with yep. this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just sensed the feeling, even my mom, like, 
I remember asking my mom, is like pretty political, you know. Mm-hmm. I asked my mom, you vote yet? And she's like, no. And usually my mom votes way early. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, no, it's going to wash. Yeah. And then she went and voted, but it was like that feeling mm-hmm. was like, yeah. oh, we got this. And then you take that to people who aren't even that um, involved, and that right. just kind of waters down. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody's complacent, and then nobody goes and votes, and then everybody wakes up like, what? Yeah. yeah. And, and so I think the media, you know, didn't help about uh, fueling that complacency among everyone like hey listen if you don't show up you know things are gonna get way different you know okay well we've talked about a lot yeah we sure have we we covered Um, a lot of things i feel like i know this man i've known him my whole life just real quick (laughs) how's married life good oh it's brilliant yeah is it yeah yeah, good i'm glad to hear that there's hope for us then none of us yeah because none of us are married we don't have kids so we always like to ask yeah i don't have kids either whoa no way but (laughs) no 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 way not for a while not for a while while. yeah Yeah. Yeah. cool cool you're we're still in in the same circle on that yeah (laughs) yeah this is shia labeouf okay this is a fantastic film all right man down you gotta go see that um that's in theaters december 2nd december 2nd and also we have to mention you have the opportunity to actually see a special screening tonight so you just have to send an email yes yes man down chicago at gmail.com yes and then people can join Sorry, you, you. Giving out your personal email just now <laughs> hey tonight yeah that's mine tonight i mean we're, we're yes that's that's part of the thing we're trying to do screenings because um you know i i just i'm proud of the movie i think people that's will so. be affected yeah this is yeah. the one this is the one all right shia labeouf yes. thank you cool. studios powered by comed